Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So we have the big brother, the one we just tried, um, and this is going to be awesome. I can tell from the nose. I can move it away or I can't concentrate. Um, so the Twilight of Idols is the little brother of this one, and this is uh, Birth of Tragedy. And uh, it's got some foreign language there. I don't I have no idea what that is because I'm not well educated. But anyway, from Hill Farmstead, nine uh, percent, and <laughs> it. Wow, I I can't get over how much <laughs> nose that's got. I only had one beer tonight, and I'm I'm getting kind of gaga over this the nose of this thing. Anyway, this is from Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I'm, apparently, I'll this say is going to be awesome. I'm glad, Jeff, that you do not like stouts and porters. I'm glad you're a hophead. Yeah, they're no good. You want to just keep sending them to us because uh, we'll drink them, but they're just okay. Yeah, yeah. Just keep doing IPAs. <laughs> IPAs are better. Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so say, yeah, this was uh, Birth of Tragedy, aged coffee, honey. We're thinking if it's Birth of Tragedy, it should have vanilla and cinnamon in it as well. We're thinking. Did it say that though? I didn't see that. Well, I'm wondering if that's what the, the, the birth, the. Uh, Twilight of the Idols is, and if they take that and put more coffee, honey, and bourbon, there, we're not sure. We'll see um, what we get, though. Yeah, they don't have an actual ingredients list yeah. on this like they did the other one, but anyway, anyway let's, do, let's it. do it. So just pour it super dark. I mean, for a porter, a little bit of maybe purple around the edge, maybe. Still a nice tan head, though. Tan head, dissipated, holding the glass. I mean, it's 9%. Yeah, but it's a porter, yeah. so I mean, you... It's a little thin. You expect that. Why don't you don't even so smell? What are you? <laughs> big bourbon and coffee. I mean, that's yeah, so much bourbon. Well, that's a really nice mixture too. Yeah, but as you get, as, yeah, the, the bourbon's kind of like up here, and as you get, right, I was just gonna you say, start to get more of that coffee. From here, it's just all bourbon. Yeah, and then as you dig into the nose, I mean, I, I'm getting lots of, mm. of coffee. It smells wonderful. Nothing but coffee actually mm. down in the glass. Yeah. I mean, I don't get vanilla. It's just a really, like you say, a really good mixture of the bourbon and, and coffee, kind of in the mid range there. But yeah, that's that's gonna be amazing. Cheers! 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 Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's stout like. So that's why I was excited. With. That's just phenomenal. Great thick mouthfeel. Yeah, just huge, like the first one. Yeah, huge vanilla bourbon presence, bourbon vanilla. Yeah, it's got something else though. I'm not sure what it is. It, I would assume it's the honey. But. Sweetness. Yeah, you're right. Lick your lips, sugar, honey. I mean, so much, so much bourbon character in this. It's not too sweet though. I mean, bourbon barrel aging will will add sweetness to it anyway. But mm. the honey does make it a little sweeter, but it's not too sweet. And the coffee is definitely well integrated in this yeah, beer. Yeah, it's kind for, of muted compared to what we just yes. tried. It doesn't come off strong. You can get it there, but I just think it's well mixed with the bourbon character. Yeah, I've had plenty of coffee stouts that are that have this mouthfeel. I mean, this is this is pretty thick for order. <clears throat> and in fact, as I'm sitting here, I'm getting more of coffee roastiness. Mm -hmm. Just I'm getting a little roasty on the back end. Yeah, just sitting there. That's probably the most predominant part of the coffee for me is as I'm sitting here, just kind of sitting on the tongue. But this is a wonderful yeah, is beer from the aroma to the mouthfeel. Great bourbon character. It can't beat the bourbon character on this. I was going to be embarrassed if, you know, I made such a big deal at the mm. beginning and it sucked, but it does not suck at all. No. This is awesome. Very good. Oh, man. I love this. I sip on this one for a while. This is a treat. This is a 475 mm. for me. Absolutely agree. This is wonderful. I wonder what kind of numbers it gets, but. If it's not a 475, people are underrating this. This is. I think this year's gets like 466, 467, so way up oh, there. there. Yeah, way up there. Big numbers. This one's. This one is awesome. Mm, that's really good. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks again. And again, stick to IPAs. No. But I don't know what more to say. Get this beer. I mean, yeah, pay extra. Pay uh, extra. Trade up. If it's still out there to trade for, it is worth trading for. This one's wonderful. I have to try this one. The next time we get it um, against like um, coffee bourbon bourbon county i mean that would yeah but i mean those 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 bourbon county coffees at least the ones we've tried have had more of a peppery mm -hmm. uh you know kind of a little younger the green, espresso. green coffee espresso yeah. this the coffee is just really you know remember when we did the bourbon county versus the uh speedway mm -hmm. barrel aged vietnamese, vietnamese speedway 
how it was just a big bear, big bourbon barrel. That might be a good be. Uh, comparison for this one because that one had a huge, predominantly mm -hmm. bourbon characters with the coffee kind of taking a back seat to it. I think I'm starting to get some of that cinnamon now, oh, you are? Um, which is what we got on the very back end. Yes, the last time. So I don't think we even mentioned our videos. We did because it was uh, after we turned it off. Yeah, the birth of a tragedy, or you know, the uh, Twilight of the Idols. After we were done, as we got more acclimated to the coffee, definitely the more cinnamon and vanilla came out in it. And I didn't even go in. I didn't even know there was cinnamon in it until you read mm. the ingredients list. But um, this is kind of the same way. It just opens up as you drink it. Yeah, I'm getting something. It's hard to discern that it's cinnamon because the other one it just after everything else subsided you could tell it was definitely cinnamon this mm -hmm. one i think it's kind of a mixture of vanilla and cinnamon maybe but yeah. this is just so well blended yeah this is a treat and a half um i don't have much more to say about it i'm just gonna sit and enjoy it no we're just uh we just keep talking more and more about it this will be a long <laughs> video compared uh, to normal yeah anything else um no as always if you can't have the beer you love love the beer you have thanks